Oh, welcome to our channel. Today I will be explaining on Ewing double bar permimeter. Uh, it consists of two exactly similar bar made up of magnetic materials under test. There are two pairs of magnetizing coil. One pair of coil is exactly half the length of the other pair. Thus, uh, there are in all of our, in four magnetizing coils, two having full length and the two having half length. The number of turns per unit exit length is same for all the coils. Each bar is wound with two coils, one of full and uh, other of half. The bar fits tightly into holes of two yokes. The yokes are made of anil soft iron. The position of these yokes on the bar can be adjusted. The arrangement of the bar is as shown in the figure here. Let us consider uh, n is equal to number of tons of number of tons per unit length of magnetizing coil and I1 as current in the coil when the spacement length is L, I2 the current in the coil when the spacement length is M2, H1 uh, is H1 is as apparent magnetizing force when the length is L and H2 is apparent, apparent magnetizing force when the length is L by 2. Uh, said be main to motor force required for the yokes and the joints in each case be, be the flux density in the spacement then h1 is equal to n times l times i1 divided by l which is equal to n times i1 and h2 is equal is equal to n times l times i2 divided by 2 whole divided by l divided by 2 which is equal to n times i2 uh, if h is too many tensing force in the iron for the flux density b then h1 times l is equal to hl plus z and h2 times l divided by 2 is equal to h times l divided by 2 plus z from 1 the two main tensing force is equals to h is equals to 2 times h1 minus h2 the disadvantage of these methods are number one a reluctance of yokes in joint is not exactly same for the two positions of the yokes the test required two exactly similar bar and the test is quite lengthy in operation that's all for today's session and thank you